We're back for more I Am Second Day coverage, and I have to say that things are getting more exciting as the day goes. And I just want to take a moment and say thank you for all of those who have been participating today. We've been hearing about how you have shared the films, told your story, presented the gospel with others, and you have also been showing up to give to us financially to support the I Am Second ministry. I mean, wow. Thank you for literally going from viewing to doing today. We are so grateful for your participation and are praying for how God might continue to work in your lives. But joining me now is my I Am Second colleague, Jordan Evans. Welcome, Jordan. Thanks for having me. <laughs> As our web CRM specialist for I Am Second, Jordan oversees not only our web operations, but is also involved on our digital communications front. That's right. Just about everything we do here at I Am Second involves communication in one form or another on web and email. My role allows me to be involved in both the creative and technical aspects of the ministry, and it keeps me busy. That it does. One thing that you have been involved in is with helping build the bridge that connects the ministry partners that we have had. For example, when we partnered with the Robertson family with their movie, The Blind. You worked on the web side of things, but you also were able to see how it all connected with our ministry. So Jordan, let's peel back the curtain a little, as they say, and share a little bit more with everyone about what worked and what went on behind the scenes. A great example would be what we did for the blind film. Hmm. Before the film launch, we were able to collaborate with the Robinson crew and were able to record Phil Robinson making an impactful message for the ending of the movie. Hmm. That directed our people to the Robinson film page. Like all of our film pages, we provide more content and brief yet informational discussion guides. Our guides include questions, reflections, and additional resources to facilitate meaningful conversations. What I love about I Am Second is that with our content and our resources, we can leverage our platform to help people live second. We want people to go from viewing to growing a pathway that challenges them to take the next steps on sharing the gospel to their family, friends, and other groups. And here's some insider information. That month, we saw the most ministry engagement with people over the last two years. And guess what? We're about to do something very similar again, this time with our friends at For King and Country and the Smallbone family. Obviously, there's Luke and Joel Smallbone, who are the dynamic bro duo in For King and Country. But did you know we have a white chair film with Mariah Peter Smallbone, Joel's wife, and she's also a musical artist herself, and a second edition film in which Joel and Mariah appear together. That's why we are excited to be partnering with them on the release of their upcoming new film, Unsung Hero, which launches at the end of April. We will be having the same type of ministry pathways on that film as we did with the Robinson movie, The Blind. And when we recently caught up with them to talk about the film, this is what they had to say to us. There's a, 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 a quote that Mother Teresa said many years ago that uh, I find to be kind of the thesis statement for this film, and that is this, if you want to change the world, go home and love your family. And uh, my family is, uh, and our family is like any other family. We, have, uh, we are not a perfect family, and you're, if you see the movie, you're going to see that pretty, pretty quickly. Not, not a perfect family, but a family uh, that does believe in each other. And I think the power of family is, is more important now than ever in the history of the world. And, uh, and we need to see those, uh, those stories about family up on uh, the silver screen. And so that's kind of the reason why uh, this film uh, is uh, for right now. We've always been part of a large family and we've always worked and done life together. And so this film was really, I think, just a great extension of what music has been. And that is we take, uh, you know, the family members, Luke and I are a duo. You've got dad as a general manager. You've got my little brother. Uh, managing your older brother doing uh, you know lighting you've got our brother Ben doing film work and we, we sort of all band together to create uh, what is for King and Country and so when we stepped into Unsung Hero um, it felt like this natural extension of the family and I think it's worth noting too that this is this is certainly an, an honor project yeah. for our parents um, and for family but it's not a glory project. I mean, this really dives into the ego and the struggle of what it means to be a man. Um, it really dives into, obviously, the unsung hero that is our mum and our sister. Um, and so uh, it, it certainly it is a family affair. will continue to be. And if you, if you pay close attention during the film, 
you might just see a cameo from each of the uh, each of the family members. Stay close. Let's go. How y'all doing? Are y'all from England? Uh, Australia. Australia. Wish I had an accent. Dad, I wrote a song. Thought maybe we could ask for an audition. Oh, that's great, honey. Let's take it one step at a time. Okay, he tells me you're a promoter. You know someone looking for one. Well, I may know somebody who should be. What's beautiful about even dropping into the 90s is it's it's sort of it's a it's almost a different era already. It's 30 years ago. There was a different cadence and uh, slowing things down and and not only slowing them down but as a family finding and fighting your way through struggle and how that bonds you together uh, to to find your way through it is really profound and, and so to, to put that on screen uh, not only behind the camera as a producer and a director but then to put it in front of the screen literally playing uh, our dad was just quite the uh, I hope it was quite the homage to uh, what family is and and uh, and the opportunity that we all have to engage in family life in different ways I'll challenge anyone uh, for the multiverse odd reality that we stepped into with like playing your dad, kissing your mum, but it's your wife and you're looking at your son, but it's you. And it, it just was, yeah, the whole thing was trippy. You know? Whatever your dream is, I know you can achieve it. Please welcome my dream is to be like you. It always has been. It is I Am Second Day. Today. First introduction to I Am Second. I mean, honestly, just the, the video clips. The, uh, the white chair. Yeah, and, and uh, look, maybe this is not the right thing to say or not, but one of the first things I always do with um, any part of, you know, a sports athlete or somebody of, of notoriety is it, when I don't know who they are, I like literally Google them and I'll go to Wikipedia and then I go to personal because I want to find out if they're a Christian or not. And what I find ironic about I Am Second is the amount of times you click on the personal page and they say, so-and-so just did an I Am Second uh, video that's actually, you know, attributed to who they are as a person it is really cool, actually. It's one of the things that it gives you a little bit of context for who they are and what they're willing to put their name behind. And so that's probably, you know, one of my, you know, obviously the first interaction will probably be with some of the, the videos that have been done. But also even just that, you get to just know about who, uh, who they are at the core. Because if you're willing to, to stand behind saying that you're I am second, that means something. I think that's a, a powerful thing. To have a platform where you can sit in and in an others-focused kind of way, in a second kind of way, um, tell your story for it to move other people. I just think what a great platform. And I think there should always be and will always be a place for people to tell their stories. And the fact that I'm second has made a, a safe environment, um, a curated and stylistic environment but more than that, a real heartfelt environment for people to tell their stories is really, it's profound. So we, we say bravo and keep on, and we're honored to be a part of it. Wow, I just love it. Their music, their heart, their accents. They are great folks and ministry partners. And the movie itself is so moving. Yes, I watched the screener the other day and it was moving. I think it will touch a lot of people's hearts in the theaters. So you may be saying, that seems like a lot of work for just a partnership. And yes, it is, but we're doing it for you. For those of you who are looking for ways to connect along a pathway to grow, or for those of you who want to use someone's interest in a film like Unsung Hero to eventually share the gospel with others. It's an open door. As such, we're a ministry of tools ready to be used. So go from viewing to doing 
share our content, share the tools, reach out to others, and support I Am Second financially. So join with us today in continuing to take action. Just go to IamSecond.com and look for all of the I Am Second Day content and direction. And to support I Am Second financially, just click on the Give button on our website. That's it for now. Keep checking back with us on our platforms for more I Am Second Day coverage.